to Lidl. I just got Lidl in Sweden. They got about like five in Gothenburg. Guys, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And subscribe <laughs>
Welcome to another YouTube video. <laughs> That's the Ryanair we just come on from. And number three, we come to Gothenburg, we've got the thingy there. View of the airport. That's the runway. Feels good, and so we're basically in Gothenburg, Sweden for four days, and I'm going back to Manchester in the evening. I'm gonna vlog it, put it on YouTube. I'll see you lot in a bit. We're quite busy, I'm on air side, so I'm not even supposed to record in it. But well, you know, the people walking past you. Hold on, man. It feels good that it feels good to come on holiday for a few days. Yeah, so we've got a KM, KLM taxi in. I'll see if I can find that flight number. It's only one hour, we've got a bit of delay. I think the crew downstairs were a bit of delay, but apart from that, yeah, it's fine. I'm quite happy I've come. It's a bit chilly, but yeah, it's just amazing. Right, see so you guys in a bit, bye. Guys, we just uh, moved into the hotel. I'm just in the hallway, our room's down there, so I'm just in the hallway, yeah. And I swear now, this is a nice view from the hotel. The hotel's quite nice, it's a little lot much. Look at this for a view, so we've got a football stadium there, that's what the taxi driver's saying. We've got a cinema, IMAX there. It looks nice, I'm gonna go for a walk. My family's still inside the room. I'm gonna go for a walk. This is the other side. Look at that coffin. Uh, Koffenberg's uh, towers, I think they're hotels or building offices, whatever. And that's like another stadium there, which is mint. What we're gonna do, yeah, is we're gonna go outside. I'm just gonna explore Koffenberg. Maybe go eat now, or maybe just go somewhere. And I'm in to Wednesday night, inshallah. And then Wednesday, well, Wednesday morning, afternoon, then the evening time, we're flying back to Manchester. See a bit peace. Oh, well, we are going to eat at a Lebanese takeaway. You can't, I can't even see myself. So it's very open. That's my hotel. I think that's the hotel there. That's how big it is. That's our hotel. It's like it's compared to us in England. It's different. We got obviously they're European, so the world. You know how it's opposite with us. So they drive on the left, right hand side. The steam rooms on the left. And but, yeah. So we're gonna go and eat, me and my brother and my sister and my mum. We're all gonna go and have some food at a Lebanese takeaway. That's like a 15 minute walk from our hotel. And then we'll probably go and do some go. Might go town and see how town is. This and that. This is the IMAX. This is the cinema that I was seeing up close. I mean, I was up there. That's the front view of the hotel. Massive. We've got trams here. So what I'm thinking is, I'll go and grab something to eat. And then inshallah just go and just go from there. And I see the big house and I keep you updated about what we do, vlogging from the people. It's so very big if you uh in the big guys. Right? So we're walking down and you know how I was telling you about that stadium? Look how big it is, yeah? Look at that, it's huge. I don't know if it's America or footy, you know, like England football, but that is humongous. I swear down, it's so big. If you get a ticket, I'm gonna try and go in and you know watch a footy match or watch a bright baseball or whatever you do, American football. You know, I might as well, I'm here. It's only like a five minute walk, like, it's next door to the hotel. It's just like they got digital sign too, which is nice. You got trams in the middle. Everything, because we got it in town in Gothenburg, everything's close, so it's, it's at walking distance. They got electric scooters like London, like the Boris bikes and you can just uh, buy, you know pay for that and use that for like however long you want a monthly something and listen apart from that it's similar to uk just uh, a lot different a lot more there's more space i'll give them that like more space for to walk and there's more things i'm shouting there's more things to do here i reckon in preston and manchester <laughs> but no, i prefer manchester and preston then in there because everyone speaks English and I understand what it says because everything's obviously in Swedish in there which is not it's not end of the world so yeah just a nice a nice few days out of UK in there so we're just carrying on and on I just need to chat I'll show you on the maps where we're going if you can see that that's where uh, continue here that's where we're going there around about there and it's only like a five minute walk so it's not it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's 25 minute walk. Grab some in there, then I'll uh, date you while we eat, maybe. And then, yeah, go from there, do something else. 
stadium still here, look at this. Still the stadium, so all this is the stadium, all that. Or oh, it goes around, or oh, they've got a construction site, it goes around all the way there. Which is fascinating, you've got two stadiums on the same road. Yeah, you got Shell and uh, McDonald's. Here's another hotel, I reckon. Look how big that is. Bloody hell, you got that. Wow. You know, I don't know what to think, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm not being Sweden, so I don't know what to talk about in Sweden. Because, you look at this, we've got a little boxer here. I wonder who this boxer is. I might as well have a look. I doubt I know what it means because it'd be in Swedish, isn't it? I'm too warm, it's warm, but it's chilly. There you go. Scan QR code. I'm not even bothered. It's, it's like chilly, but it's sunny at the same time. Which I don't know how it works. It's like all, it's like all England weather when it's cold, but the sun's out, and it's like that little chilly experience. Right. I don't even know where we're going to go now. I don't know where I'm going. Right, I'll speak to you in a bit, guys. It's trams here. Yeah? Oh, there's a tram right there, yeah? They've got trams road in the middle, like London, Manchester. We don't have it in Preston, unfortunately. I don't know why we not had trams in Preston, but apparently we're going to get it. What's more fascinating, look at the river, the canal. The taxi driver says the canal is all frozen because it's been that cold. You can see the ice cubes and all that. You can look, ice cube, I, oh look, down there, if you can see all the way down there, that's all liquid water with the birds. But all this is ice. There's the tram. The takeaway, let me do food. It's a trail ahead. Feel the vibration of the world, wow. It's crazy. Beautiful, it's beautiful, alhamdulillah, mashallah, wow. You know, I will come to Sweden again. I'll come to Sweden again. Maybe another part, or I might come to Gothenburg and you know, just go to the other side, but we'll see. Day one's been pretty neat. I'm not gonna lie, sun's out, it's a bit chilly, my nose is gone again. And the, the Lebanese restaurant should be here soon, I think. I've just come out of Lebanese restaurant, alhamdulillah, mashallah, it was really delicious. I liked it a lot. I think if anyone comes to Sweden, you should go to. If you come to Gothenburg, you should go to um, a Lebanese restaurant. And I had the Mexicana, so it's like a bit of like, picture like a long, like a long chapati naan bread. And it's got mint in that resort, sweet mayonnaise sauce, it's really nice. Put that bit on and put ketchup on it, it's really delicious. And Hamza's here, look he's hiding What's all this guys? time. Guys, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And so it's got you didn't even upload the video. I'm just having a massive break. You get me? Where's it on? Yeah. Hamza, what did you have for? What did you, what did you eat in the Lebanese restaurant? So I had a hamburger. A hamburger. Oh, basically it's basically cheeseburger, not hamburger. No, it's hamburger in Swedish. Go on. And what is it? How big? It was That's big. a nice car. Look at that. Wow, electric car. Come. It was big. Yeah. And go on. Carry on. I was buzzing. Yeah. He didn't eat the burger. All of it. Because I got full. You got I full. Chips. I told you you got the full. Chips was hey, let's go there. Go and buy some ice cream. Yeah, the chips was paying, yeah? Yeah. But the burger was like out of date. The bun. The bun, Not I the mean. The burger, the bun. The bun that I ate. This road's a bit bumpy. Pay me. Obviously, man's is a bit upset and that because he paid money. <laughs> and burger and it was but delicious. It was nice, to be honest. But you know what? I humbly am. I'm grateful. Yeah, I'm going for. We went to this shop, and it's like a sweet shop, yeah. Oh, which way to go? Right, we went to a shop, yeah. A sweet shop. This is why I don't like flipping out. It's like I'm getting hit by a car or tram. Honest to God. You know, so, so I brought some chocolates from this shop. It was actually nice. The decent price, decent offer. I had some. It was nice. And we we're just coming to Lidl. As if they got little in Sweden, they got about like five in Gothenburg. Look right there, you, you, you won't be well. You can't see it, just there. Just there, behind that guy's head. Little. I mean, they got little in the water. It's little, it's little from Sweden. Oh, I think it's Germany or Swedish. I can't remember, I'm only checking that, but we got little. So we got little in UK, we got little in Sweden. And little in UK for us are, it's cheaper. So it should be cheap. You know, buying stuff for food and whatnot, or buying just in general. 
I'm gonna go see who got under car park, underground car park, which is amazing. I'm gonna see if this is delivered. Like cars are back home if it's cheap. And my family's all the way there, I'm here waiting and they're all there. And I'm gonna go see shop at Lidl before people look at me and be like, what is this guy doing recording with the camera? In a bit. I'm walking back. Lidl, I feel like it's quite small to be honest. And all Lidl's bigger and we got more variety. They don't really sell milkshake. I wanted a milkshake. I ended up going to this next shop and brought sparkling water. I thought it was normal water. This is the motorway here, so it's it's quite it's, it's quite busy. And then you got that side. You got Stockholm home, the capital of Sweden down there. That's the real. You got a train in the middle. That's where we came from. Now we're walking back to the hotel, and we're coming back the same way we went. Right, turn right, turn right. I'm feeling like an idiot. Different glass, different glass. Wait, this is on the then? Uh, Alright, we're on the way back to the hotel. So I was just saying there, we just stayed nice. It's like a busy time. It's a bit, it's quite, it looks busy. But that's like the main motorway, I reckon. Yeah. I'll see you when I'm at the hotel. I don't know how I was saying, I brought some um, chocolates. This was the sea. It's actually quite a nice shop, to be honest. SOS candy, love. SOS candy. You know, buy it from here. It's decent, decent food. 